so what we're going to do today is we are going to work on a spindle issue that I I see. And I'm sure everybody else has with the E-clips on the top of the spindles perhaps popping off. Now mine haven't, um, but I'm just trying to cover all my bases. I try to look for weak links. Nobody wants to be out in the, uh, in the bush, so to speak, and be broke down. So here's what we're going to come up with. All right, so what I have purchased... Two rubber washers I can only find with a three-quarter inch uh, center and the outsides are obviously too big I'll cut those down no big deal um, I have two cap washers or what I'm calling a cap washer some fine thread uh, quarter inch uh, bolts with some star lock washers so my plan is to take these cut the center big enough so that it will slip over top of and around the e-clip i don't want to remove the e-clip why not have a secondary backup so my goal is to cut the center to be big enough to encase the e-clip and essentially hold it in there um, while i also put a cap washer on it Now I've made this piece of pipe, as you can see, uh, we'll focus. I've ground the edge to hopefully be sharp enough, to hopefully be sharp enough to cut through this rubber on my press over there. So this piece is just big enough to completely cover the E-clip. Let's see if it works. Okay, as you can see, I'm on my press, obviously. I got my piece of pipe that I tapered the end and I got my rubber washer on a piece of lumber. And what we're gonna do, put some cranks on this. And I will bet that is already through. Back her up. And there, the center is cut out. Not bad. I'll take it. So now I've cut my rubber washers down smaller. I mean, they're not perfect. I don't care. They're about an eighth inch thick. I got them at the Lowe's um, right out of their hardware bins. They had them. But my point is that fits right around that E-clip just about perfect now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cap washer on there and perhaps a three-quarter washer maybe and then uh, we should be good to go my cap washer is here it'll look something to that effect a little bit of space well hopefully not enough for that e-clip to pop up and out and if it does at least I'll have the cap uh, thread it down in there with a bolt. So, let's see. So as you can see, I got my two washers nice and flat. I've actually put this one in my press. I don't know if you can see that. I've crowned it, and now it encapsulates that E clip super nice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one over to my press. I've got a piece of plate, half inch plate. I've marked it out. Okay, I put that on there. I take this little piece of black iron pipe and I'm going to set that eh, on there. Get this set up. Just touching down. Okay, what I'm going to do take the little cranker and I am going to put just the slightest crown in this. Don't want to go too much. You can always go more. Okay. Now let's see what that is. Tap there. And you have a little bit of a crown. 
in that washer just a little bit. And what that does is as we come over here, you take your rubber washer, put that on there, that encapsulates that. This is just enough to just cover that so the e-clip won't fall out. Alright, so we got our rubber washer, we got our crowned washer, we got our star lock washer, and we got our bolt. So what we're going to do, take all this garbage, and we're going to come down here, and what I've already done is drilled and tapped that, I hope you can see that, oh probably maybe a half inch, not too much. Um, clean that all up so what I'm going to do I'm going to take this rubber part as you can see it engulfs the whole e-clip and I'm going to take my crown washer and I'm going to put it right on top of there okay and obviously you put your star washer and then I'm going to take some blue thread locker put that on there and we're gonna drop it in there that one is a 7 16th and I'm not gonna go nuts on this thing I'm just gonna put that much. That's pretty good. But anyway, there's the end result. Still turns fine. Okay. I really like the way that turned out. Anyway, that's what I'm doing today. Now I'll do the other one and we'll be done. Thanks for watching. So there's the other one done. I think they came out pretty good, right? Got the two of them. Made some heavy duty tie rods the other day out of the other ones that I had. Anyway, that's about it for the day. I'm gonna go in and uh, have a little beverage. See ya.